We're now going to look at some power equations. This is the uh, the input circuit. Uh, voltage of the battery will determine as V. And the current flowing through the circuit will measure with a meter, the average current flowing, uh, which we'll call I. The power input to this circuit is V times I. Voltage times current uh, is, volt is input power. Voltage is measured in volts. Current is measured in amps. Uh, and I would stress that it's current, not amperage. Uh, and if you multiply those two together, the product is power. So taking an example, uh, if I have a power input which is from a 4 volt battery um, at 100 milliamps, which is 0 0.1 of an amp, then we multiply the 4 by the 0 0.1, which gives us 0 0.4, 0 0.4 watts, which is the same as 400 milliwatts. On the output side of the circuit, uh, I've got a bridge rectifier, so that any pulses, whether they be positive or negative going, um, whether they be something you would like to refer to as back EMF or some other sort form of energy, I believe I've heard it called radiant energy, but I'm not entirely sure what that is. But whatever, it'll get rectified through that uh, bridge rectifier circuit, and the current is measured on the output side of the circuit, uh, between the rectifier and the resistor. And we've placed a resistor there as a load so that we can measure the current. And th the relationship that we know about power on the next on the output side of the circuit, uh, because we can't measure the voltage because it's continually changing, but the average power output will be the average current squared times the resistance. Okay, that's just another equation for power. There are two equations for power. One is volts times amps. Uh, the other one is amps squared times resistance, or I squared R. So if we know the value, average value of the current and we know the value of the resistor, we can work out the power output. And in the existing example, I've said the average power output is 0 0.1 of an amp, sorry, 0 0.01 of an amp, which is 10 milliamps. The resistance is 10 ohms because that's the resistor I chose. And the power is I squared R, which is 0 0.01 squared times 10, which is 1 milliwatt. So I can see I've got a 400 milliwatt input and a 1 milliwatt output. OK, we're not uh, not close at the moment, I think, to over unity. Um, but these are the sort of demonstrations and the sort of figures that engineers and scientists would like to see in order to prove any sort of uh, efficiency, even, um, let alone getting close to over unity. So we must find ways of demonstrating this unequivocally um, so that people can recognise these as valid uh, calculations.